and of course Rain might obviously be going um Wario to start off. But who knows? That Bowser kinda came in hot and that all depends on how he's feeling about it. Wow. Well, I mean that's that's kind of what I was thinking, uh, or at least what I was wondering is what character is Rain going to take into game one? Because we yeah. saw him go already play a best of five against Sabay. And the as one, in terms of Wario's, go. Wario's success rate was zero. Wario was not working. Uh but yeah. the, the croc was. The croc did put take a game and then uh, unfortunately, you know, there was only one game left uh, to lose and Rain lost. But these heavies, like if he's if he's playing multiple heavies, he can really throw off your opponent. Yeah, I, I think that's the one thing that like Rain is counting on to as well. Like even though you do get juggled pretty easily against, uh, especially game to watch, but like you you have extra weight, and not only that, like the the Croc and the Dragon, man, they do big damage and it's snowball damage. That's literally at seventy nine percent, man. If the minute Rain touches the ground, you know he can easily get a kill on Game and Watch. Game and Watch being the third largest character in the game, so. Nice. He has to make that recover. Unfortunately, down smash did not ground in here. He did with a down air kill. The floor to kind of swipe the bottom of the lane. Forward has some, has some pretty, uh, I don't want to say it's ridiculous range, but like it's range that sometimes you never there. But once again, a down air attempt, we talked about it, right? This is what heavy Koopa. <laughs> but unfortunately for Rain, down air to right to that bomb, which uh, if, if he hadn't, he, like, he could have kept swiping at Sabei, and that would have been, you know, a much better outcome, probably. Yo, I th I thought Rainbow's gonna be able to up the out of shield there in that situation, but I was totally wrong, man. Gimo Watch just managed to hit three aerials all at once on the shield for Rain. Wow. Nice. <laughs> you saw the cross him, turns around, just quickly look around, nothing, nothing to it. Yeah, just a ton of damage in a matter of seconds. Rain putting massive numbers in Sabay. But Sabay able to continue to land these combos, putting Rain off stage. And just look at how much damage Rain wrecks up when he's trying to recover. Yeah. It, it's a lot, too. Uh, when he gets the Bowser Bomb there off the side, be good. That was a good two Oh, when he reads oh, it, I think I <laughs> I mean, it's. I was telling you, like, if Game of Watch has our recovery, like, you can, you can honestly, honestly oh, you got damage, yep. Well, that's one way to pick up the stock. Spot dodge into down smash, the Game of Watch special. Yeah. The Meister, the Meister Classic, the Game of Watch special, man. You all know and hate it. Oh, uh, tough? Yeah, because, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. That was a really uh, good situation, yeah. That was a bad situation to be in. I was gonna say, the minute that you're getting hit by Aiken, by I'm sorry, by Chef, you need to be really, really cautiously optimistic there and just like don't panic. Like don't commit to a jump. Just commit to another upbeat. And I think what we saw Rain was go for a jump. Just cautiously take the hits. Don't panic. Go for an upbeat. And I think yeah, that, that's what happened. So Sebagi takes game one here. Yeah, and getting hit at that angle with Bowser, no second jump, like, no amount of mash is going to save you. You could have Smash 4 Luigi mash, and you're not coming back. <laughs> that's, that's really true. <laughs> Alright, well, here, Game 2, so you I Game like 1 the on pick. the board. I like the way that the Bowser was working out, outside of, like, that oh, yeah. one big mistake that we saw. Yeah, I think that was the only thing. That was just that one big mistake, and then... Sebagi was actually really able to capitalize on it, so Rain, uh, he wasn't that far off, far behind. So, we'll see how game 2 goes here. Good up, you had a shield once again, 60%, pretty solid for Bowser. Great spacing there, waiting with the tech chase. Okay, 57. Yo, man, cash it out for 75. Do I get a kill, though? Oh, you probably would have gotten a kill, but the, uh, counter pick come is not working out for Rain. It, the, the large blast zones kept Sebagi alive. Especially after getting the jab reset to down smash. And then we saw uh, Rain go for a down B to try and clip the ledge and cast the recovery. But instead, they got the platform. And now, side yeah. B again, big blast zones keeping his opponent alive. Yeah. And then Bowser, Bowser's options will probably kill anywhere between, like, I think it's like 10 to 20% later on Tom and City. Wow, he just tough guy. That's what I'm saying, right? Like, 
you have to, even even when we fuck Neo versus Bowser, right? Like you have to be careful. This tough guy is just something that exists. It's unique to Bowser, and it's so strong. Yeah, he had to go off the deep for the recovery, and unfortunately, that was easy peasy for somebody. Okay, good dash and seems to look for his opportunity to get in, but cross up Nair isn't going to be a good option. Not against Bowser, where he just up be out of shield. Like maybe if you nice. put a little bit of extra damage and then try and shield poke, that's probably a good option. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to space forward there once again. Oh, nice. Boy, he he didn't burn the here. jump. Yeah, he did not burn the jump. But that was what I was gonna say, right? Like the minute you're getting juggled by Game of Watch, or the minute you're off stage, oh. Like chef, you, oh, that's that's definitely that is definitely goodbye. Yeah, not even max charge needed. Yeah, he does not need max charge. Nice. Try to try to come up with the Jalair. Really good stuff. Like I said, for Bowser and actually even any other character, like if you're facing Game of Watch, you're getting doubled off stage or getting hit by Chef. Save your jump. Don't hold your breath and face Don't pass. Yeah, could have be out of shield. That's the one thing. Oh, for it's up. This is about to be a dead Game and Watch here. Literally 96% to 112. But the for it's up, trying to keep the, the Tiger away. Yeah, Let's traps from Sebi. We can't count, can't count out this Game & Watch player. Yeah. I think one of my favorite details in Ultimate that, uh, that was done was the way when Game & Watch juggles you, the little image that you see that you have as a ball is actually a stock. <laughs> oh, tough guy. <laughs> yeah, tough guy indeed, man. Rain brings out the board. 1-1 one, one a piece. Oh, oh, man. Man. Bowser's tough guy is so unique, it's, but it's so strong only to him. And yeah, Game & Watch being the top 3 light character, and Bowser is just able to just power through some of his moves. That was really good. I mean, like you said, right? K. Roll was definitely one step close to like counterpicking Sebae. Now Bowser is the full step forward, and the fact that they can actually effectively fight him now is pretty big. Yeah, and I think this is the... We've only really, really seen Rain take one game against Sibley. And now, you know, taking a game so early in the set, it's going to put a, a lot of... a lot more confidence in Rain. Three, yeah. Two, one, go! Game and watch juggle, put 61. Nice for nice up tilt. Reading the fact that seven you I mean it's it's the obvious of any other player. If you're getting juggled with the people that do sports match, yep. That won't do it on final stage, especially across the stage. By the way, it's big damage. Yeah, big Yo, damage. uh I, I, I respect you wanted the you wanted the suicide, you wanted the I take you with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I respect it too. That would have been for me. Especially against Sebi as well, because that would have definitely shut down Sebi's confidence with the portions he does with down air. Yeah, but this is back air? good great. It's already a couple nope, back air. No yeah. jump. I mean you got he, he got hit by three turtles before he made, before he committed <laughs> to to death. She was on the other foot, man. Usually Bowser's in charge of the turtles, but he's getting hit by them. Sorry. Yeah, that's a whole different type of Koopa for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rain here. Prime position to try to get the spacing here. Good grab. He definitely reads the neutral got up because he knows Sebae does not want to go for a roll. He doesn't want to go for a get up attack and get punished. Oh, I think I got a attack on a board. Maybe a jump get up would be really bad, though. Bowser bomb, yep. I mean, he's down. He's down two stocks to one, but Bowser can live at high percent. He's the heaviest character in the game, so we'll see how Rain can handle it. Uh, B into Nair, just the juggles will continue. Oh, interesting that uh, Sebi was going for Nairs instead of the up airs. I think it's because the way that like we've seen Rain go for down air just to get quicker away from it. And I'm, wow! Okay. Sebi yeah, most, doesn't... most people forget that has a uh, invulnerability still. Yeah. Just a lot it's less. A, yeah, it's a lot less frames than it used to be in Ulta in 4. In 4, it had way more frames than vulnerability. It was like armor, but in ultimate, it has a little bit less frames, but it still has it. Um, 
But yeah, I think the reason why Sebi went for neutral air instead of up air is just because like he's noticed that Rain can just effectively down air and then get away from being juggled by up air. So he just wants to be more optimistic about using neutral air than using up air. It makes sense too. Now that Sebi is up two to one here, Rain could be out of tournament and Sebi could be the champion here with a 3-1 victory. We'll see. I think Rain is looking to change characters on. Might be the cable. Is the, the croc warrior. coming back? No, 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 no croc. Okay. Man, remember that time when everybody's wore crocs? It was a popular sandal everybody's bought. Nope. <laughs> it, it was an era for me. I just remember the time when everybody wore crocs. You, you must have been young. <laughs> I, I, I just, it was a while ago. I just remember everybody wore crocs. I'd go to the mall and wear a croc sandal. Anyways. I remember them being like hot like that, but never. I don't remember everyone wearing them. <laughs> Anyways, so game three starting at court. Sebi starting strong again, 95, and even with Green's counter pick, like having difficulties like connecting damage or even like moves on to Sebi. Yeah, I, I think Sebi is like slowly making that adaptation. Like he knows what to do and what not to do against Bowser. Um, I like the way that he, like, he kind of, he, we didn't see it too much the last two, two three games. Um, but Sebi is slowly kind of slowing his recovery back on stage, which is really smart. Up tilt, Chorus Town and City is a really good counterfeit stage in this case, because you can live longer against Bowser, but Bowser can live long longer as well. But I think like we saw last time, Sebi wants to shut down that Bowser bot. But he doesn't shut down the down air. Down air, so strong, and of course that's gonna close out of stock. Sebi's gotta put a little bit more closing, closing out of stock, but the chair! The chair is so good! We've seen Sebi, uh, especially like in those close quarters situations, uh, really mix up the opponent and bring it out. Yeah. Nice, looking for a little bit of spacing. I like the fact that he looks to do a little bit of pressure on the shield with forward air, and then he immediately just drops down and tries to go for a grab and follow up afterwards. This is why we see neutral air here as well, right? He doesn't want him to get the down and he wants to continue to juggle him. Good cross up, like I said, right? Deal pressure with the forward air, then cross up or land, go for an opportunity afterwards, try to mess it up on Rain. Rain is definitely on the receiving end here, 84%. He just wants to touch the stage here, but Sebi gives him the chair, able to come back with the other one. Okay, there's another side B, and it's gonna put Sebi off stage. Oh, he, wanted to, he wanted to swipe on him, but he couldn't get it. Yeah, he, he got one swipe. Yeah, he got one. That was good. You see, if he, the only reason why he went for one up air is because he knows he can easily fall up with another up B. He, he wasn't gonna try to juggle him up there. So that was really good stuff on Sebi. Like, he, the rain wanted to wait for another opportunity to probably get away from that, but now Sebi is up two stocks, 82%. This isn't anything Bowser can't take care of. The problem is that Sebi has a lot of momentum, and he's definitely getting really good at whiff punishing. Momentum, stage control. At the moment, Sebi has it all. Yeah, what? of course. This, the bravery from Sebi. We saw, like, Sebi already lose a game because of Tough Guy. It's still walking or being in that close range and jabbing Bowser, activating Tough Guy. Oh man, Sebi just put in all the work. Oh, uh, that's. I'm sorry. You can. You cannot. You either have to power shield that, and I'm sorry if I'm getting part of power shield Wi Fi, but. Yeah, or you can take the hit. <laughs> Yeah, we take the hit. Unfortunately, in, in some of these cases, he can afford the stock loss there. With dash attack afterwards. Oh, close at the back end. Sebi wants to close it out, man. He wants first place winnings. That's right. Okay, there's the up sending Bowser off stage again. The last yeah. hit of the key, but so low. Bowser's still going to be living. Yeah. Obviously, man, heaviest character in the game. The surviving town and city. You find the most two. He's living a little bit extra long. 30%. Man, I'm serious. Game & Watch could die right now. <laughs> right, well, one shield break away from actually. Oh, great parry! You got the parry that mattered. That one was the clutchest parry. Oh, oh, that's the... not gonna kill. No, Bowser dies first. Why would you do? I think Sebi oh, held up. <laughs> I think Seb, yeah, that was the result of Sebi. That's all you have to do. Rain, Rain wanted to get the last laugh and be like, fool, you thought, but Rain was. But Sebi did not panic. I was like, bro, all I gotta do is hold out. What do you mean? 